Alpha is on assignment happening right now. University of Pennsylvania students and staff are protesting outside the office of University President Liz McGill. Well, she's facing an uproar over her comments at a congressional hearing on anti Semitism. CBS News Philadelphia's Brandon Goldner, he's live on Penn's campus right now where the protest is happening. It's underway there behind you, we see, Brandon. That's right, Natasha and Jess. I'll step out of the way in a second. About a couple dozen people are outside College Hall where the university president is located. That's where her office is. Let me step aside so you can get a closer look a little bit at some of the protesters that we have out here. This comes as the House Committee on Education and Workforce announced this afternoon it will investigate Penn and two other schools with the, quote, full force of subpoena power. McGill, the president, is under fire for her answers during repeated questions Tuesday about whether calling for the genocide of Jewish people violates Penn's rules or the university's code of conduct. Parked outside UPenn President Liz McGill's office, this mobile billboard truck displaying the words, Fire Liz, along with the quote, it is a context-dependent decision. From this exchange Tuesday between McGill and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. Governor Josh Shapiro was among several political leaders to criticize McGill's testimony. And on Wednesday, he called on the Board of Trustees to meet immediately to discuss her testimony. Governor Shapiro is a non-voting member of the board. That was an unacceptable statement from the president of Penn. Frankly, I thought her comments were absolutely shameful. It should not be hard to condemn genocide. McGill released a video to Instagram Wednesday evening with an explanation and acknowledging it would be harassment or intimidation. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. Earlier this morning, the Board of Trustees held with a person at Penn who is familiar with the situation, described as an informal virtual gathering. It's not known what was discussed in that gathering, but no votes took place. Daphna Ofer is one of the organizers of a protest being held outside McGill's office in response to her congressional testimony. I think there's a lot of um, questions that um, President McGill and the Board of Trustees will have to ask themselves. I think they need to face in front of the mirror. We requested an interview with the university's president about what has happened over the last few days, but they say she is not giving any media interviews. Meanwhile, this protest is expected to last till 4.30 this afternoon. Natasha.